In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a day in the life of a work from home nurse. A couple weeks ago, I posted this video on Instagram asking you if you wanted to see kind of a behind the scenes video on what it looks like to work from home as a RN. And you said absolutely yes. So here we are. I'm going to do this video for you. So I'm going to take you through a whole day of what it looks like to work from home in this company and how we built Nursing SOS to be what it is today. I'm also going to be talking about how we've used failure to help build this business. If you fail an exam in nursing school, if your instructors tell you that you might end up failing out of your program, what do you do about it? So we're going to talk about all those things and more later in this video. I'm also going to be talking about how I've used failure to always become a better version of myself and not let it get me down. So hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. So our day did start a little bit later today. Daniel didn't wake up until about a little closer to seven, which is crazy. That never ever happens. He really like always wakes up at like 4.30 or five, maybe six. <laughs> but last night with all the holidays and family and everything, we stayed up pretty late playing Mahjong. <laughs> so we had kind of a late night, so I'm glad that he was able to sleep in this morning. So today's a big writing day for me, so I have a bunch of YouTube videos that I wanna get done. So as I'm making breakfast, <clears throat> I'm trying to like think about the topics, what I want to do, what I want to talk about, kind of the outline. So in nursing school, I would just take these moments of cooking, cleaning, driving to think about the stuff that I was learning. And I think that you really need a lot of thinking time about it because obviously nursing school is all critical thinking and figuring stuff out. <laughs> you know, as you go. So I really, uh, that just really helps me to have that thinking time where I can really just think about what I'm doing for the day, <laughs> outlining everything. Same thing with nursing school, thinking about the content, thinking about what you're studying, so that you actually just have that time to convert it to long-term memory. So while Christina is busy making pancakes today, we are doing the coffee. So every morning we read the Bible during breakfast, so that's what we're gonna do now. So with breakfast done, it is now time to head up to Lolo and Lola's house. On Mondays, we take Daniel to see Lolo and Lola, so those are my parents, so that we can work for the day. Christina works on the membership community, uh, writing transcripts, and also writes transcripts for YouTube, and I edit those videos. So we just dropped Daniel off at Lolo and Lola's house. They live super close to us, which is just, like I said, the biggest blessing. So we just actually walk there in the mornings <laughs> to drop him off. So we have a couple major blessings in our life that are just incredible. The first one being that we have family close by. So both Matthew and my family, pretty much all of us is all here. So we have a lot of help with Daniel. So when we work, I work Monday, Tuesday afternoon and Thursdays. So Daniel goes to Matthew's parents, Lola and Lola, um, on Mondays and then goes, he goes to my parents on Thursdays. The second huge blessing for us that's just ginormous is that Matthew stays home. So we both work from home on the company. Uh, there was just a few months ago that he was able to quit his job and come full time to help with nursing SOS. So he edits the videos full time, does a whole lot of like the back end stuff, project management, all the things managing the team and our contractors and everything, all the nurses that we have. And I do the writing and the videos and the editing and all that stuff for all the transcripts and all the content. So that's how we run that. So now we are back from dropping Daniel off and it's time to get to work. So I, because it's Monday, I do a lot of transcripts, writing, 
all the things for both YouTube and the Nursing SOS membership community. So I've got a lot of transcripts to do today. So I'm gonna get to it. So I just finished up uh, one of the transcripts for YouTube and so now I'm going to come out here, chat with you for a little bit, but I have to clean up first because it's kind of a mess out here. Okay, looks a lot better in here now. Oh my goodness, so it was super messy in here, got it all cleaned up. Thankfully, I finished writing one of the videos for December for YouTube, so that is done. I have more to write later, but at least I've got one done so far. So, yay, I feel productive and I'm doing this, so. It's been a good day. The biggest thing that I wanted to talk about was failure and how we've used failure to build this company and to, <laughs> I mean, really how you do it to do anything in life, right? So the biggest thing that I have learned through this process of going to nursing school, building this business, is really that I have to manage my thoughts so much more than I ever thought I would have had to or that was even possible. I never really understood the concept of being able to control your thoughts or control your emotions. And I feel like we are so bombarded with this idea that emotions are just there and we have no control over them. Thoughts are just there. We have no control over them, which I firmly believe is absolutely not true. I mean, I have just, uh, within the past year and a half, if you've been following us for a while, you know that I have dealt with a lot of anxiety my whole entire life and I had a huge anxiety like huge panic attack about a year and a half ago I think it was in August of last year so 2018 and that was really the tipping point for me I ended up um I said I really finally reached a point where I was like enough is enough I'm going to therapy and now I'm in a coaching program and that has really really helped so much so pushing past those limits of just myself has really been the biggest blessing so like before when um in nursing school if something would go wrong and I would not do as well on an exam as I wanted to or something would happen that was unexpected I would freak out you guys it could not even handle it so it was really difficult for me to stay focused and study because here's what happens when you are just completely in overwhelm your brain just shuts down if you're like in that anxiety stress state you feel like a failure you feel like you're not good enough all those things like your brain is telling you this whole story about yourself you are not as focused on what you need to do in that state of mind so this is what I have found to be true the more I've been able and have learned to control my thinking and what I'm thinking about myself, what I'm thinking and how I'm interpreting the world and even what other people do, how I'm able to control how I react to things is how I'm then able to control the rest of my life. So in nursing school, you always have the option of interpreting like failing a test as I'm a failure or that was a good try, I'll just try harder next time. So you always have those two choices, right? But when I was in nursing school, oftentimes I would think, well, Obviously, I'm a failure. <laughs> I think that's naturally where a lot of us go. We go to that like super dramatic, like this is the end of the world. <laughs> this is like, I'm obviously gonna get kicked out of nursing school. I can't do this, all the things, right? But now I have really learned to control that aspect of my brain and reframe it in my mind that no, I'm not a complete failure and God made me 100% worthy and all the things like he totally loves me so it's no problem like it has nothing to do with me I just need to try harder next time and I'll pick up different study technique or things I'll try different things so you 
think about those two options that you have, right? You have the one that says like, I'm a total failure, I cannot do this. That is going to prevent you from studying. Whereas if you think of it as like, oh, well, I'll just do better next time, it's no big deal. That is the mindset that you wanna be in when you study, because then you're not gonna have that constant overwhelm, anxiety, and stress in your mind. <laughs> as you're studying, preparing for the next exam. I often hear from nursing students that they don't want to study for exa an exam because they've already failed before. It's like, why even try? That's not the point. The point is to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, because you're going to get better every single time. But when we interpret failure as being like this huge, dramatic, end of life, life or death thing, that's when we really get stuck and stop moving forward in life. So for this company too, we've been doing this for a few years now it's crazy to think how many times I have failed so stinking many I mean I remember times where our website went down and I have a total freak out you know like it's it's the end of the world is <laughs> the story that I was telling myself back then. So, you know, things happen. Situations come up. You just have to handle them as they come up. It has nothing to do with who you are, your identity, or your worthiness by any means. You just have to reframe it in your mind, tell a different story to yourself. Like if, when our website went down, like that has nothing to do with me. It was like, well, okay, I just need to fix it. But of course I made it mean like, oh, I'm a failure. I can't do this, <laughs> like all these things. I just uh, posted another YouTube video on nursing school bullying. And I <laughs> gave some examples of some of the comments that I've received online from other people online, other students online that are super mean. It happens. But now I have learned not to make it about myself. It has nothing to do with me. And of course, this is like a constant learning process because like my gut reaction is like, oh my gosh, I'm a terrible person. Obviously, they're right. <laughs> they hate me and I should hate me and all these things. But no, controlling that story in my mind has been the best work that I have had the blessing of doing over the past about a year and a half, really, really putting in the work to fix how I think, retrain my brain to think in a way that is more beneficial to my life <laughs> rather than constantly spinning in anxiety and stress. One of the biggest hurdles that I am now actually overcoming right now is Instagram. I have <laughs> kind of a love-hate relationship with Instagram. I really, really love it because I can get to connect with nursing students on such a deeper level, I feel like. Uh, the relationships that I have developed over there have just been really, really awesome. And I've just met so many students that way, which is amazing. I think it's such a great way to connect one-on-one. -on -one. The issue that I have been having with it is completely about me and how I feel about myself and being self-conscious of getting on Instagram, doing stories like, you know, just like this, like right now I have no makeup on. I <laughs> have not showered today. I don't usually shower until like the afternoon. So like anything I record in the morning, it's like just wake up and go <laughs> because we got a lot to do with Daniel and getting all these things. That is tough for me to show up without makeup on, totally like raw and vulnerable, just like here. <laughs> so that is probably one of the biggest things that you'll see me developing over this next year is kind of overcoming that fear in my mind but like well how will you think about me if I show up without makeup and all these things like just totally like <laughs> in a sweatshirt right now and you know just looking like I just woke up because I kind of just did. <laughs> so that's really one of the biggest hurdles that I need to overcome this year that I'm really going to be working on is just coming at ya regardless of what's going on slash what I look like. So when we think about failure, just the whole point and the whole process is to overcome it and stop believing that we are not worthy or we are not good enough or we cannot do it. Because friend, you can be successful in nursing school and in just life in general. I was successful in nursing school and now we are successful in this company and we absolutely, I could not have done either of those two things in life without 
all of this constant failure and continually working on myself, working on my brain, realizing how I think and retraining myself to think in a different way. That has just been one of the biggest blessings that I have given myself in life. So now that I'm done writing all of the transcripts, I need to actually record those videos. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll take you behind the scenes so you can see how that is done. Here's a look at what our recording studio looks like. So that's kind of where I sit. Got the bookshelf with all my books. Whiteboards are over there in the corner. Got the microphone, microphones, everything. Matthew's got it rigged up pretty nicely to make the lighting all <laughs> nicer than it used to be and the audio nicer than it used to be. So that's what we're gonna do. Where's your camera? It's right. It's right there. That one. So that is a day in the life of what we do every day. So today I was able to write a bunch of videos, record a bunch of videos. It was very productive and Matthew did. Uh, I was upstairs editing most of the day and working on our schedule for upcoming YouTube videos and more videos for the membership community. So earlier in the video, I talked about how I have tried to overcome failure, both YouTube comments that we've gotten that have been not the kindest. <laughs> and then also I talked about uh, Instagram and how I have kind of like this, I'm like on off relationship with Instagram sure. and like a love-hate relationship with it because I love it because it's so great to like meet new people but then also I find myself not using it a whole lot if I like don't have makeup on and stuff sure like haven't done my hair and look like I just woke up which is kind of always <laughs> except for the days I do these videos so Instagram kind of gets put by the wayside so those were my failures, but what are some of yours that you have had to overcome or push past? I'd say probably the biggest thing, the most recent thing, uh, we mentioned it earlier on today uh, for the first time, I think publicly, mm -hmm. that uh, I have come home to work full time on this business. And so that's definitely something that I needed to push past the, the fear of failure. That's definitely a big step for both of us and this company mm -hmm. uh, to actually leave, leave a full-time job, uh, a quote-unquote safe job, and uh, work on something that's not so safe or guaranteed. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely there's, there's that initial fear of, fear of failure. What's going to happen? What if we can't both do this? What am I going to do? All the um, unknowns. All the unknowns, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a big part of the failure is is, is that unknown and um, something safe is easier than something that's not safe. Uh, so yeah, definitely just pushing past that and, and working through the idea of what ifs in favor of Let's just do it, and we'll we'll figure it out as we go. I think that's Hi. yeah. I think that's that's probably the biggest fear of failure to mm -hmm. that we have to overcome. Me, but well, both of us. Yeah, for sure. The, this year, there's the next a, step. A lot of gunkiness in my mindset about that for sure, because it's scary, you know, to have that safety net. And then in nursing school, all that what you mentioned, the what ifs. Like we're always thinking about what if, what if I have to drop out, what if I don't pass this class, what if I fail this exam. It's like the same thing for us now like well what if I don't get this video out what if the website goes down which it totally has like I don't think it went down this last year I think I'm referencing like two years ago but it freaked me out so much that it's like this huge deal in my mind you know what if this happens what if that you know it's all that what ifs that just get in our mind and just gunk up everything that we do but could you imagine if you just completely succumb succumbed Succumb, succumb, that's not right, yeah. to failure. If you just totally let it take you down, where would you be? You know, where would you be right now? You would probably not be in nursing school. You would probably not be even this far in nursing school or this far in life if you just totally let failure take you down every single time and never took a chance. Same thing with us. Like oftentimes we'll hear from nursing students, I'll get DMs on Instagram, YouTube comments and things and emails, people saying, oh my goodness, what would I do without you? And to be honest, what would you do without us? <laughs> but like if we weren't here, there wouldn't be anything like this. You know, we wouldn't 
be doing this. We wouldn't be helping students. So we have to overcome our fear of failure in order to help you. <laughs> so I kind of keep that in the back of my mind. <laughs> like, okay, well, if yeah. we weren't doing this, then, you know, it's kind of that nice motivation. I don't know, just because we hear that from students, like, well, what would I do without you? I'm like, well, yeah, actually, okay. So I need to be doing this. <laughs> Yeah, bottom line is we're we're here to serve and here to help you guys out. So me less so on the nursing side, but somehow I'll help you guys out. Just let me know how. Um, but yeah, uh, but I couldn't Christina, run it without you for sure. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely a learning experience, and mm -hmm. yeah, we will fail, or um, video is not going to get posted right, or um, you can catch some some of the editing errors that I, I I threw in there. Pushing past that and. Uh, every day is a new day to learn and, and get better. There have been some very funny things that have come out of my mouth on a YouTube video, especially live videos. Those are really scary. <laughs> Slash wild cards. I can't live edit video. the live videos, that's for sure. I know, that's totally all on yeah. me. So <laughs> anything can happen on a live video. So I think ultimately it comes down to weighing is your fear of failure more important than succeeding at your goals. Because we've all heard this, right? That success is built on a mountain of failure. So you cannot succeed in life if you don't fail. And to fail, you gotta take a chance, you gotta take risk and all those things. So nursing school, totally a risk, you know? A bunch of things could go wrong. But is it worth it in the end to become a nurse? Definitely. I'd say yes. Yeah. So if you guys like this behind the scene videos, let us know in the comments below. I would like to know if you like them, if you want to see more of the behind the scenes. I wouldn't mind doing them more regularly than we do now, which is about once a year. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And click on this video right here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And we'll catch you next time, friends. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.